Hey there, how you doing? David in our care. I thought I'd jump in here real quick. I've had several people reach out to me and tell me that when they go into the world editor, either parts of the menu are missing or some weird things are happening. So I thought I would do some troubleshooting. The first thing I did was I jumped out to where the editor files are located and I'll, I've got a link to uh, where that is down below. And I decided that I would rename the QE folder, uh, or GE, sorry, the GE folder uh, to just something else, and then attempt to launch BeamNG. Uh, and what happened was the game doesn't run at all. So obviously part of the issue is this, whatever's in this GE folder, right? So one of the things that uh, I can do is uh, I renamed the folder back and the first time I tried to run it, it crashed, uh, but that was okay. That, that was expected because it had an error that it was kind of hung up with before. But the next time I launched it after I had changed the GE folder name back to GE uh, in a moment or two, you will see that yes, in fact, the game does boot up. So, all right, now I am inside this editor folder. And uh, I got to look in and there are a whole bunch of Lua scripts that match the menu items that are in the world editor. So normally whenever you're trying to troubleshoot something, one of the ways to do that, especially when you're working with files, is to simply rename a file so that if the file system is looking for that specific name, it can't find it. And therefore, usually you can trigger an error condition. So what I did was I went in and I just picked a couple of the file names that I honestly that I could remember off the top of my head that were in that list. Um, and, and all I did was just go in here and click on it go to the beginning and I just added XX dash. And the reason why I use X's is because that's going to force it to the bottom of a sorted list and it makes it easier to find later. Generally speaking, most programmers, most developers aren't going to use XX as the prefix for uh, a file that they're actually going to use. So I renamed several of these. And then once I had them renamed, I went ahead and launched BeamNG Drive to see if we could in fact get the game to run. And not only does it run, but a very interesting thing happened. You see in the window menu, all of my menu options are still there. And not only that, but I can click on the menu options that I renamed and they still work. So that was a little kind of a kind of one of those weird moments where you kind of go, wait a minute. I renamed the Lewis scripts and yet it's still working. So what that tells me is that or at least in my head and devs or anybody else can feel free to uh, correct me on this. But what that means to me is that the, the main script is pulling in all of the other Lua's and then it figures out where to go based on what's actually in the Lua. So what do you do next for troubleshooting? Well, next we go in and we select those files that we had renamed and we cut them and move them out of the folder. And that's exactly what I'm doing here. I move them to a completely different folder. And now we try to launch BeamNG. And when I attempt to launch it, well, BeamNG is not happy. Uh, it loads up here. And oh, uh, what happens is we get into the game and I can load up a level. But when I get to the game, I'm pressing F11. I cannot get into the world editor. The menu will not open because I've taken those three files out. Now, what I did was at this point, I went ahead and put them back in. I did control R, which reloads the environment. And now you see when I hit F11, the uh, world editor not only loads, but the menus are all there. Everything is good. So what that tells me is that if you're having trouble with the editor, then the best thing you can do is right click on the game in Steam, go to properties. From there, you want to go to local files and you want to verify the integrity of the game files. Because generally speaking, what that's telling me is if you're having trouble with the world editor where certain menus aren't showing up or certain aspects of the screen don't appear correctly, something is wrong in that editor folder by verifying the integrity of the files that will allow you to 
uh, check those out and the system will verify everything is supposed to be there and should fix what's going on with the game. And hopefully that'll fix your world editor problem. So hope this helped a little bit, kind of a walkthrough behind the scenes of w one of the ways that I troubleshoot. Now, ideally, if I really wanted to spend a whole lot more time on this, I would actually narrow down uh, exactly how to make these different menu items disappear so that uh, at that point I could tell you, hey, this is the exact file that there's a problem. Honestly, it's just not worth it. Just go check the integrity. It'll re-verify the files. It'll load in any files that are messed up, or it should anyway, and then you can go from there. By the way, uh, if you want to, you could actually delete the whole editor file, uh, that folder, and then do the int integrity check, and it will put the entire editor folder back for you. So just uh, another way to do that. Anyhow, hope this helps. Appreciate it so much. Special thanks to Hero of God, Gamer Gall, Los Wilco, Connie C, Zachary, 7220 Gamer, and the Maestro of Madness for supporting the channel on Patreon and through uh, channel memberships. Thank you so much for watching. We'll see you next time in Beam NG Drive. I'm David Inark. Have a great day.